and there's going to be about an inch. So one more. Yeah, you can let them in. I just put them in the waiting room. The waiting room is fine. So we're only going to have one client in the room right now. Or the wood wants to work first. Yeah, I mean, it seems, yeah. <clears throat> Why don't we take care of it over here? All right. So we're talking uh, 22, 22 30. 30. Three Westbrook, property 4102, on Linda, 118. Yeah, you do very much. Preston, state <laughs> subdivision approval to subdivide parcels. It's, uh, four lots, two of which will be newly drawn existing parcels, two of which will be new parcels. New parcels entirely. Two lots. Two lots are, two lots are brand new. Yep. Three and four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Lot yeah. two and lot one are just reconfigured right around those changes. Yep. Yeah, we got PDF for a full size plan. So we, yeah. we just we just got these you know, little, little scans that we can't really read. They're inside the thing. Just written as exhibit. The other thing I thought was. Uh, Correspondence from the attorneys. Okay, so we've got Venezia, please no that Venezia will provide full size sets of land. You want to forage you real quick, Chris? For it to and she'll make sure it gets on. Yeah, we'll put it on the M drive. We're not going to put yeah. things on the M drive until she raised the meters. Okay, I'll forward it to you. Okay, all right. If there's any changes, that you... yeah. how's this different from what we <laughs> saw before? I guess got put on hold. Is it essentially the same? It is the same. Same well, application. There's no changes. No, no. What's there actually? Well, there are changes. They, oh. they provided proof More that detail. those two lots are developable because that was the big question last time. Is those two lots can they be built upon and they proved right here based on grading driveway buildings and stuff that it was possible? Uh, Chris, I'm sorry, just to interrupt. The, the lots that you're talking about in question are these two. What are the lot numbers? Three and four. Three and four. Three and four. Three Thank and four. you. We also reconfigured the widths. Yeah. They're yeah. at the they're at the minimum width yeah. frontage mm -hmm. frontage for the they weren't before, they were a little wider, gotcha. which gave us a little bit more frontage on the lot two. <laughs> Lot two was a lot narrower, so we did give it a little more frontage there. Then, then the next thing was, we're requesting you guys do a waiver to front on a private drive. Have you read the attorney's response yesterday? I have done. It okay. just I was out yesterday, so I just okay. reviewed it. I actually haven't read it in detail yet. So was that what it was? That's what it was. It was, it was a response. So as we're, we are trying to update the, the town code to allow that stuff. It's just right now it's one of those. Things it's that the ambiguous. Planning, it's up to the planning board because the planning board can pretty much waive any section of subdivision law there. Like that. I, I would, I might suggest it may be a good five minutes for the two of you to read through the letter. Okay, okay. it can help anybody who hasn't read the letter. Who doesn't have I was just reading this morning. I just read your waiver. So the waiver is, is, is it's really not about the waiver. It's about what's said in the content of the letter. Okay. Going back to the waiver, since that was mentioned first, the proposed lot one fronts on a private drive, private right away. Good morning. If you it. don't mind weeding out in the hall, there's a bench. We'll call you in. Uh, the private drive, private right away connects with and is no different physically or in its treatment on the zoning map from Anna Linda. And then the second reason for the waiver, the private drive right away fits under any number of definitions of street as provided in the town code and therefore can serve as measurement for French. When we're talking private drive, just for clarification, we're talking about the one that extends at the end of Anna Linda? Yeah, up. we're not talking Anna Linda. We're yeah, talking. It is the private drive that. Anna Linda is to a private drive. Right. It's also the private drive. Right, yeah. right, right. One's a private drive, one's a private drive. Made. Right. I think we could, yeah. I think we're trying to come up with the terminology. I think one's like a private oh, road. We are working on something. Yeah, road and drive. And honestly, if you read how our code it says streets and stuff like that, it doesn't include private drives or private right. driveways. And we're trying to fix that because we believe it should be included. 
for the waivers to get relief for frontage off frontage. of a private, private driveway, oh, basically. Yeah. Yeah. So getting his own yep. Yeah. We have another similar Which I believe is just an oversight in our code to tell you the truth. That yeah. it should be able to private drive. And that would be for a lot. Driveway. The waiver would be for a lot. Is it two lots? Lot one. Lot well, one. Well, one and two. Two is funny. Though. Well, lot one really doesn't have anything. Yeah. I don't know what it does. So, yeah, we'll do lot one and two. Relief for lot two and one. Yeah, because lot three and four both have property. Yeah, they both frontage. have enough frontage. Off the okay. Because lot one will have theirs off the, the newer private driveway, not the private road. I got you. My phone is out of the Waivers for lot one and lot two. So, so lot two doesn't have the uh, the, the proper lot width at lot of Linda. Correct. Lot right. two was not front on a private driveway. <laughs> yeah. But, but, but the front of it is here. So the variance is five years. Can't see that. Front. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> So and it's up to you about the whole front of your I think I yeah. think staff had an interpretation for lot one that it didn't properly front on a road. Is it, what has changed to nothing? The waiver. There were they're asking they're for a waiver now the because they were well, they, well, they actually weren't no. denying. They pulled it. Before. Could I have Stephen? Would you speak for a few minutes on your letter that not everybody read here? So uh, yep. to walk through the the thought process by you, Anthony. And Corey, please. Can I? Can I? Yeah. Mention? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, hi everyone. Th thanks for uh, thanks for uh, this this meeting allowing me to to speak. Um, yeah. So basically, hold on one second. Just one second, right? The determination will be by the zoning officer that the frontage is required to be on a public way based on our code. So a waiver is required. If you're arguing that a waiver isn't required, then you're going to have to file an interpretation and get the request. I Which guess. we may want to do. So let's go through the whole process here. Okay. So okay. we're not there yet. We haven't. Her determination right. will be that a waiver is required. If you're arguing that our waiver is not required, then interpretation before you go to planning, before you go to all that stuff. So it'll be your decision right. which route you want to take. Right. Okay. Okay, Steve. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. So, yeah, basically the the the, the argument is that. Um, on Linda Drive, which is which is not a, a public road, it's a it's a it's a private road. It's a it's a private right of way. Basically, is the same, um, if not less width than than the private drive on on which lot one and two are are fronting. Um, so so that the you know the entire gist of 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 the response is essentially that. There is sufficient frontage on on lots one and two via the the, the private drive, the private right away, which is um, basically an extension of of, of Onalinda Drive, um, and 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 therefore basically the you know the the frontage and and, and waiver and variance requests, um, you know we believe aren't 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 necessarily needed. So, so that so that's what we're saying. If you want to go and have an interpretation of done against the zoning officer's determination, you're welcome to do that. At this point, we're at PRC. We haven't created a zoning law determination yet. And we haven't even pushed this towards planning or zoning board. This is PRC. So this isn't an official, this application is complete. The application is complete when the zoning officer creates a zoning law determination. This is preliminary to assist you through the process. So if you want sure. to go- Yeah, yeah. You want no, to go- no, thanks. Oh, you're welcome to file an interpretation, which will put a hold on the application and everything with that. So that interpretation yeah. is fine. So yeah, understand. applicant's decision. I, I have a question. This is Lance with MRB Group. The question I have is, are we? Are, is the dispute that you believe, and I apologize, I, it's the first time I'm seeing the letter. Um, is it, are you disputing that you believe you do not need a waiver at all or a variance, right? Because they're two separate yeah, things, right? You don't need a waiver or a variance, is what is. Well, so yeah. So if if frontage is measured on Onalinda Drive on a private thirty foot wide road mm -hmm. without anyone on that street 
needing a waiver or a variance for frontage. Um, effectively, the the private drive is serving as as the same as the same thing as Amalinda, basically, in that with with sufficient frontage there on on one and two, the board doesn't necessarily need to waive anything. Um, and again, we're speaking about stuff that hasn't happened yet. The zoning. Well, I was answering. Yeah, I was answering the question. I guess is. I is what, I'm saying the applicant will have to make a decision after the zoning law determination is made. The assumption is the zoning law determination reads that the town code says public right of way. Highlander Drive is not a public right of way. It's a private drive. So we're going to go to that route and it'll be your decision how to progress after that. Chris, when do we, when does typically the zoning determination run? After the PRC, when yeah, the be, application is determined to be complete. Right. Well, right. So if there's use. information missing, plans, applications, right. stuff like that, we won't even move towards planning board and zoning board. Right. It'll say application incomplete. Mm -hmm. I and just was trying to get a time frame for the ability to respond. So yeah. likely later this week, a decision a determination, which is typically yep. done, will be provided which will be filed accessible. At, which will be filed at the town clerk and town law requires that if the applicant wants to file an interpretation, they have 60 days to do so. Okay. I think one other comment. Yes, of course. Uh, my daughter's home is at 4094 on Linda Drive. We, we know. We, we know. <laughs> and it has 100, and I believe 150 possibly in, okay. in width at the extension of the private drive with a 45 foot right away, mm -hmm. already signed off by the ex chairman of the planning board. And so, uh, you know, I, I would ask that to be considered also. It's been proven. You know, that would be something to do during if you wanted to file an interpretation. Right, you can include that. For you, and you don't see it as a reason. What? To not, to not, to, to not say that. Yeah. No, we have to go through the process as far as the zoning law determination. Okay. So let's go, to, let's go through the process that you just talked about prior to my interruption to you, okay, okay. which was, uh, which happens quite a little bit. No, <laughs> so I apologize for all that. No, it's all okay. good. But there's, um, uh, could you repeat what you said when we six minutes ago said something about the process so I can completely understand it? So you make application. Right. The zoning officer determines whether the application is complete. We have PRC. Which is what we're doing right, right now. Which things might be missing, applications, uh, Let questions. me stop you there just for one second, please. Yeah. Because the note from you last Thursday or Friday, whenever it was, mm -hmm. said that the final information need to be Friday. in by next this coming mm -hmm. friday right yeah. so yep. i'm asking for that's you our deadline. <laughs> that's a deadline right yeah. Yeah, I'll yeah. that. Yep. so the question is uh what is missing uh we well I mean, right now it was the pdf but yeah. he you know we'll do that and yeah, they just sent it over so there's a there's a checklist i right? understand the checklist no i, mean, I know I, I, I think just to be clear it's this typically this process right here determines whether or not the plans in the application material are submitted right. are complete right and then based on that a determination would be rendered when they have a more of a let's say a, a more of a opportunity to go through with the technical review that they have to do with every plan application mm -hmm. the goal is to get that determination and the determination based on today's review out to you guys well enough in advance of that friday deadline because if you're hoping to stay on course, which we if want to something do. was missing, you have till Friday to get it in, right. in order to stay on the course that you're on. I believe, and Chris, correct me where I'm wrong, if the determination, which we believe will be that a waiver is required, hasn't been determined yet, but it's likely that sounds like that's where the town is yeah. moving towards, that you would have to submit a request for um, interpretation by the, ZBA, the, the zoning board so the zoning officer files the zoning law determination with the town clerk. Yep. Right. And that's the official order made by the zoning right. officer. Uh, applicant is allowed 60 days to file an interpretation against the zoning officer right. to say, hey, I want to question this. Puts the other stuff on hold until the zoning board <laughs> makes a determination. What if, I'm just playing, just trying to figure this out. What if the applicant decides to move forward with the planning board, but still wants to keep in mind that the opportunity to file the, the interpretation would be that the application is incomplete if they didn't request a waiver. But I think we have one, don't we? Okay. 
I think there is a waiver on. I think there's a waiver. He, he acknowledged already. He's already produced one. Yeah. It's, it says we request a waiver. I think there's a waiver for him. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. But honestly, this waiver is really a dispute of the code. Okay. Is that a waiver? Both of them are, right? Right. I mean, either the interpret it's either a zoning issue or a plan. But I'm issue. saying is does your waiver say we'd like to request a waiver from fronting on a private driveway? Or are you saying you don't believe it is and this and that? And you're not actually requesting the waiver. Because right now it says waiver requested for lot frontage. The waiver request should be fronting on a private drive instead of a public right of way. So if, if our determination will be you're requesting lot frontage waiver, but you're not requesting lot frontage waiver, you're, you're requesting frontage on a private drive instead of a public right of way. Quick question for the, the planning committee. Did did the everyone else on, on Alinda Drive have to request uh, waivers for, for frontage on the private private road as well? Code was written after those houses and frontage was created. Except for, except for your daughter's plot, yes. So how is that? I don't know. That was, what is it? Uh, Hoover at the time. Yeah, that was Eric. That was a different determination by a different, Absolutely. different person. Yeah. Since I've been involved, most of the activity on Aunt Linda has been site plans yeah. right. for building on existing lots. Here we're creating new lots. Correct. Correct. So I think that's, that's, that's a difference between that, you know, the past and the present. Mm -hmm. So I think in the consideration of new lots, then we got to consider so the ramification. Go ahead. I'm sorry, you're going to read something, Chris. It's just that, the, and we all know right. it's a section of code and the way it's written, it, we want it fixed and stuff like that. But yeah, it doesn't, it says street and then, then there's right of way and none of it can, contains private, private property and stuff like that, which we're trying to read. Bias. Right of way right here, public right of way, highway line between lot and street or highway. Street doesn't include private road or private drive. So, yes, we're going to try to modify that this week and get it to the town board. So, we're hoping that the town board would take that into consideration that we're trying to change the code and issue the waiver for you. So, that's where we're at. Town board, planning, 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 planning. Well, it's either zoning or planning, right? It's either the waiver or the interpretation. Right. The, the, the waiver goes to the planning line. board. Right? Part with, of the the with the application. With the application. With the application. Yeah. 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 And we're going to write a letter before you go to the planning board to the town board requesting modifications to the town code to allow fronting on private drives and private right of ways. So that you can use that. First. So you can use that as part of your argument kind of thing. Excellent. What kind of uh, rights and responsibilities do you have on Linda? Is it in some sort of document, or is it's it just sort of a, a shape private hand? drive? It's always been within the neighborhood. I mean, you know, and for your benefit, and I think it'd be others. nice to nail that down somehow. Nobody wants to spend the twenty thousand dollars for the well. That leads to my next comment: is what improvements are you considering for on Linda as part of this subdivision? None that I'm aware. Of. Well, I'm just thinking that it's a private drive. Private drive has certain design standards. Um, it meets those design standards, I believe. Uh, I don't think as far as width and drainage and it well, needs that, a, that'll be part of some work. That'll be part of the planning board. And yeah, no, I'm just trying to give a heads yeah. up. This is the kind of thing I'm thinking about, and I'm sure yeah. the board members are thinking the same. So. Again, that will be consideration when we. Well, that's the right now. We're just we're to, is there a complete application? Is it got all the application materials and stuff like that? We have okay. what we need and okay. to make a determination. Okay, so we're good. We'll send the PDF over. That's yeah. the only missing piece. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so that's good for is there any possible the missing? waiver might need to be changed language wise, though, Chris? Is it that is that your what we're saying? If you write fronting on a private drive instead of a public drive, the attorney. That's the same one that we're just doing at Dogway, right? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. So. Besides that, it's complete. Yes. Once we get the PDF, we're good. And will a hearing date be set? A, a planning board uh, 
meeting date. Second meeting date. That's good in the uh, county, right? Second. 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 Because the first meeting is always continued after the rollover. And because we have to have a public hearing. Because it's a subdivision. subdivision. So usually when that has to happen for the time frame, she goes to the site. It's, it's like May 24th. May. Is that correct? <laughs> yeah. May 2 4. May 24th. Mm -hmm. Yes. And this is uh, type two See subdivision. Now it's unlisted. We, we've always classified as unlisted subdivision unlisted. So unlisted subdivisions, mm -hmm. short form, and then we do part part two with it, which is pretty straightforward. And we're going five twenty four. Okay. Anything else for referrals, Greg? Steve. Is, if this is right now, we're proposing subdivision, or is it including the residential construction? This is subdivision. Just subdivision. This is right. Subdivision. It's, it's not. not plan. That's what provided right. the extra materials to prove. To prove. Well, we no, proved it, understand. and because that was a question. It is not going to be something. If, yep. If, if he sells this, it is a Devolable. because it's. I mean, you may need the specifics of the house and yeah. everything. Right. For a lot so there, there may be notes. Proof. Let's say going forward, there may be notes that suggest that it's. Not buildable at this time. Lot two, lot exactly. three are not buildable yes. at this time. Okay. It's the typical thing. Yep. Okay. Saying that if it does get approved, they're not you're approving the site. Right. The, you're showing the, that the site you're trying to provide documentation. Right. I, I, I talked to Corey about I that. Okay. That works. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. Right. Referrals. Referrals. We'll see you on the 24th. Yeah. yeah. Not sooner. Uh, let's see. <laughs> MRB Jim just for water supply potential. Yeah. Ontario County two lots or I don't know. I'd have to look at that one. I need to look at that. I don't think yeah, so. Yeah. Really that open. Uh, so um Cheshire. That's our standard. Not the water sugar. Yeah, yeah, make sure that. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> yep. Five twenty four. Okay. Brendan Wood is sitting in the way. We have also Batisti. I have Batisti. Batisti is in the. Marcello is here. No, Marcello. Okay. So we're. Uh, could I just? Pop in on, on, on Westbrook. So my understanding is, 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 is the, are you guys going to follow up then with items needed and, and the determination? Uh, items are complete. There are no items needed. Depending okay. if you want to change yeah. your waiver request for fronting on a private drive instead of a public right of way. Okay. Okay. Change. And then if, if, if change, right? it's your decision. <laughs> it's your it's all our decisions. Yeah. Yeah. the interpretation. That's different than what's written on the paper. Right. Yes. Correct. You just said a lot more accurate. You just front end firewall drive. And again, we'll write up a nice change yep. of code and we'll give that to you first because we really are trying to. We are that. absolutely. Yeah, I know. That's like number one on the ordinance committee right now because this just keeps coming up every yeah. week. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So, so I'll edit, edit that and, and get it back into you guys. And then, um, Sort of the, the interpretation, I guess, is 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 the next step, the determination. Determination yes. will be done after okay. this Friday because yep. that's kind of the materials deadline. She might do it beforehand, and then you'll probably see it next Monday as far as the official zoning law determination. Okay. So in terms of the, the April 15th uh by this Friday, you're here all set other than uh just the, the edited waiver. Yeah. If you want to do it, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right, all right. Th thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Have yeah, a good day, guys. Thank oh, you. Okay. Take care. See you. See you.
Lance, I don't know if you met before. So I'm Alan, you know. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry. I didn't know Lance. Like, yeah, Lance. Like, I've seen his name floating around. Uh, 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 so I'm uh, still making the rounds. Like, like, there's so many places to go. Lance, <laughs> Lance sure. talked great here. Thank you. Know. Well, <laughs> good to know. <laughs> yeah, that's morning. Exactly. Good morning, everyone. All right, what are we looking at? Looking at 28, 28. 28. 2020. Sandy beaches. Is there any sand on Sandy Beach? It's gonna sand all it's a sandy bottom all the way. It's kind of like hair show. Okay. One of those big lots. Well, Anthony, give us an overview. I can give a little bit of an overview. Okay. Yeah, Chris has been working on this. What, for a while. what happened was, let's see, we had the original approved plan. So, I named uh, name sense. You've seen it. Yeah, yeah, you have. Okay. Yeah. So what you did was you approved the site plan. They built it. They agreed to remove. Oh, all the yeah. gravel driveway in here and everything like that to meet the lot coverage so they didn't need variances and everything like that. Right. Uh, what they did was they didn't remove it. They put asphalt in this area and everything and then asphalt over here and then turn here. So there's additional asphalt. So we're back to zoning board for variances and lot coverage. And planning board for site plan. Yep. Yes. If it's if, if they it's, get a variance, if, if they get it to keep the asphalt. Okay. Well, they're talking. About We're going to keep the parking area. What our plan is, is to tear it out and redo it with porous, porous just to give ourselves a great offset. Yep. Yep. What it is. Um, we took we we went down there we took a look at it and tried to figure out a different way instead of tearing out the driveway and trying to do some infiltration trenches and things of that nature. We tried to do around the lake, but with the elevation and the lake level, Makes you don't get enough coverage over the infiltration trench, and it would be full of water just from the lake in general. But you, you worded this really you wrote proposed lot pavement and then lot coverage less porous pavement. What's the lot coverage? 44 1 is a lot coverage. So so we're just basically saying that that 35 is. You know, if you didn't include that coverage because it is a porous, I know you we, we, we don't so, so remove that because just because it, we're it, basing it on lot coverage. So Anything get rid of that. It's not vegetated. Can't do. Is so well, the they'll use that. Is it? They'll use that and factor it in. You could say I'm proposing this much, but lot coverage less porous pavement is not going to factor in. Right. So the the lot coverage is the 44. Okay. So what is the lot coverage that was approved by the planning board? The original. That was approved, yeah. Is it on the original site plan? Would have been because we didn't do the original site plan. I don't know if you handled had it. You did. No, Hanlon did it on my map. Actually, I have a letter from you guys saying that you guys did it because I told them they couldn't do it on your map. No, no, guys... well, just it's we had a letter, it was a survey. They use our survey, but they signed off on the site plan. There's no engineer stamper on that from we were letting our office. One at a time. So Hanlon actually stamped that site plan. Well, that was, those were all their calcs and not ours. <laughs> just I want to make sure. We just wrote a letter that, that they could use our survey map as a base map. So their lot coverage was proposed at 32.9%, which was down from existing. So and that was with the removal of that was removal of the right, right, okay. so 39. And now it's being so proposed at 41. But converting I'm gonna okay, but converting the larger area to pros. 32.9 yeah. on this day. What they're looking for is what was the original original? The original original was 33.9. Yeah, okay. Was, so there's still and the one. new one was 32.9, and then they went up to 44. Okay. So that's the problem. Is there still the garage across the street yes, and the garage the, and the new one as well? There is no garage in the new house. It's just a, okay. it's just a structure. Okay. So the garage is the garage is existing was um refaced 
the, the whole premise of this is with what, what was what was built and you know Sandy Beach not having a lot of parking, obviously. That being said, if the gravel driveway was removed and nothing was there, it really puts us at a, a hardship with where to park. And also if, if you was to be parking two cars along the side of the road, it would, it would really narrow it up for people coming in and out also in emergency vehicles. It, it is a necessity to have that parking area there. We just had last month on Sandy Beach uh, an application where the fellow used the uh, grass grids, the you know the grid mm -hmm. plastic grids with the grass plugs. Yeah, that's all I mean. Yeah. And in Chris's interpretation, that's not considered impervious. Right. We we did send it to Batista. <laughs> it's an option. It's up to you. If you don't get the variance applic or if you don't get the variance, Something you could switch over right. to that, and it won't even need planning or zoning. I mean, they they do work. We've talked about it, but. I'm not sure they, how they'd work for a continually used drive. That's the now. issue. I mean, there's no, there's continuous no, use. They're proposing or heavy duty. There's the four different. Right, but the grass doesn't really stay. It just ends up being sand. If it ends up being sand, and then gravel. No, this will end up being sand and grass. Well, it'll, anyway. Can you send me the specs on the heavy duty ones? We'll take a look at them. Yeah. But the whole, the whole premise is, is to take that pavement that's there and account for that with mm -hmm. the porous and the drainage and not adding to runoff. And that's kind of where we're at with that. Oh, we're at PRC, so application is complete. Just modify, give us a little more info. Or we'll just we'll just draw the zoning law determination. Let's just go off. Yeah. Okay, we'll just do that. And then I'll we'll get rid of that. Yeah. Seeker, Seeker folds over from the other one. Yeah, I mean, well, it's a type two of before. So residential is weird. It is weird. So technically, because you're changing and you're increasing it, it would be a new seeker that we would have to do. Okay, we'll do it. It was just a many. So, but it's still type two because it's residential in nature. So I don't think it really matters. We'll just do a new type two and call it a day. So ZBA would be on the 17th of May. Playing board the 24th. Yes. Okay. And your calls. <coughs> Probably. ACB is going to want to see. Yes. Kevin. Kevin. ACB. Yeah. Where are you? The 17th. ZBA is the 17th. I've got Kevin, MRB, ECB, Chris. And that's it. That's <coughs> Adeline, and time the ECB. Does wanna, the driveway impact the water service? Yeah, I'm just yeah, just just, does it change any aspect of that water service that was originally part of the approval? I don't believe so. I believe it's outside of it. We'll double check that. All right. I always state that there's asphalt over it, right? Yeah, yeah there's asphalt over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so it doesn't change any. Everything. I didn't know if it needs to go back to check just for that reason. No. ECB's May 5th. I don't believe we're not going to deep any rate for ourselves. I think you're asking. May 5th. Yeah. 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 The previous is there like some sort of Westbrook? Do you want to see Westbrook's uh, subdivision? Yeah, yeah, there will be. I think we're going to tie it. The I was going to wait on that. They're just yeah, they're just they're just exactly. That's I don't know. That's kind of the issue. The details showed the under drain on there. Sure, yeah, the detail had the under drain. That was good. Yeah, that'll tie it. I don't. You tell me. I think we wait until he probably will. Okay, he won't because it's not really going to fix what his problem is. It's just there's, there's a in the property. I know when you showed me the It's way up in the back. It's yeah. the whole area. I'm just trying to get a head start. The whole area. <laughs> <laughs> so you definitely have this right. one. Yes. Well, it helps him here. All right. Okay. Lisa, ECB? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. okay. There was okay. one, um, I don't know, there was one, a shed on Westlake Road in Mary. She's she, pushed. She, she's pushed. So she's not today. No, she asked us to call in there. Did she not? In. I talked to her Thursday. Which one was this? Mary it was Weiser. the shed. She had talked to us about. She drew us together. Yeah, I know. She, she knows it. what she needs. So she, it's a survey, existing conditions, right? She you know, but to show where the shed, because she wrote a sketch, it's going to be here. Yeah. We don't know the yeah. front setback, side setback, all that right. stuff. She just kind of said. Right. So She's basically, no grading or anything like that. Just 
a certain location. 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 Coverage too. I think we need to see grading. Absolutely. Oh, coverage. No, I out. asked. She knows what she needs. So you want to? All right. So I you're thinking of grading the whole building. I think it might grading, be too absolutely. close to the front road. She's asking for a size variance and height variance. Maybe side setback variance. So a couple. Front just, just a couple. Is that thirty? Is that thirty-three fifty-one? She's pushed yeah. them, so she's not going to nothing today. Thirty. No, 31. that's thirty-nine eighty-one. Thirty-nine eighty-one. So is there anything she said? She was mentioning something about getting in for Friday with. No. That's she's not good. Even. No, that's not. She knows it's going to be pushed off. Yeah, she month. said she would rather wait and get everything buttoned up with you guys. Okay, perfect. So, that might be over building coverage too, and lot coverage. Okay. Yeah, that lot is like seven thousand. Yeah, I know it's small. It's tiny. We'll figure it out. Okay. All right. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. See you next. Thank you. Thanks, All right. Guys. I don't think anyone else is in our way. Here. Well, Casey Coons, that's that's why I was talking to my watch. He was trying to get on from the oh, I didn't pig know. barn. He didn't even show up. So I think the pig barn is good. I see a little cat. This is, oh, uh, hold on. How about Sketch Brandon? Guy. Is Brandon still? Is anyone in the hallway? He left. The um, yeah, this guy, Jim Meyer. And I tried to let uh, the other planning board person, Mr. Tolbert. Tolbert, but he disappeared too. Okay. Uh, he was going to sit on the EV stations, but when it was decided. Oh, yeah. when, it, when we pulled We it. actually have issued that's all the other side track. Yeah. They, uh, they modified the parking lot striping without permits and stuff, and now they're parking in the fire lane, so I can't issue the permits for the EVs because you'd have to park in a fire lane right against the building. So we're working through that right now. <laughs> Where are they again? I forget. It's the Toyota? Is it Toyota? Oh, West Toyota. West Toyota, yeah. Yeah, yeah. up against the building and stuff. So. They need three sides of the building to have a 30 foot wide fire lane, which they put parking in now. So, do do we, so every time you put in an electrical charger, we have to go through this process? Casey's not there. No, 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 no idea. Idea. I mean, we're, we're only 50 we're foot. We're working on yeah. uh, planning issues regarding EV stations. Okay. But there really shouldn't be any planning issues. Uh, plus, you're taking away parking. Uh, no, they're, they're just a regular parking spot with an EV at the end of it. Yeah, but if you can park there if you don't have an EV. Unless they put a sign, you need parking only, but okay. That's up to them. Let's see. <laughs> this is Mr. Meyer, Jim Meyer. Hello, Please Jim. Sketch plan on uh, Fire Hall Road 32. 32. 32. Sounds uptown. This is uptown. Uptown. Uptown Saturday night. Let me explain that. You sent a lot. You, we got a lot. Of <laughs> You know it's going to be fun if the address is zero 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 zero. <laughs> ah, nice one. There you go. So Jim's uh, requesting a sketch uh, plan based on the Ford Base Code Zoning District for a multifamily townhome development, of twenty-three home, a uh, twenty-three building. Excuse me. Made up the making up one hundred seventeen units on fourteen point four acres with a clubhouse and pool. Okay. And restaurants and commercial space. So next that's just what we want up there. Sounds <laughs> it needs up to. That's Jim's sketch. Well, yeah. The sketches are kind of light. So um my, my apologies for that. If you zoom into a hundred percent, they come in. Mostly clear. This is the tree plan. I know. I'm just trying to find the plan that. Was... Yeah, yeah, they give us a bearing where the lot is. Yeah. This, oh. so this runs, it's two lots. Well, it's one lot, but Fire Hall cuts it down the middle. That It's, it's uh, near Amherst then. Someone's going to Encore. What a surprise. Go those deer. We oh, see those I, deer I all like the Encore. I do too. Oh, I, we all fast. love Encore. Yeah. If you were a map fiend growing up, you're all about the encore. I, mean, I could go into a deep dive on encore <laughs> way too often. Well. <laughs> you could literally spend a vacation just shopping around on encore. <laughs> so there's Fire Hall. Is it this one? This yeah. One? yeah, that one. Oh, I see. Okay. And that's Emerson on the north, on it the is. north, yeah, yeah. south, and <laughs> south on the top. <laughs> and then, and then Kepner's on the bottom. Kepner, okay. And uptown landing was. Uptown landing is south. 
is over here. Yeah. Over there. Okay. Yeah. The other side. Yeah. <clears throat> Does this have a name? At this point, oh, regrettably, no, it doesn't. That's okay. That's not regrettable. It's something historic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm absolutely open to uh, suggestions. Yeah. Uh, so, Jim, why don't you give us just a summary of what could, you're thinking? But could we get a little darker plans? Because we're going to, again, when this goes to planning board, they're going to want to see this and get a really good idea. You can, I can get you anything you like. Just an overall with and, the. That, because, like, our overall right here. Yes. If you, it, put, you can't really. I see trees and I see parking spaces. So when you say overall, just to make sure I understand too, you're asking for an overall plan that kind of identifies location, right? Sure. So you see and some of the other roads and parcels. Yeah, location, but also like I can't what, tell where the buildings are. Where are the buildings? Yeah. Where <laughs> yeah. So yeah. they're they're alike. They're just the run line type and depth and thickness. Right, certainly, yes, absolutely. Yeah, just change your plot scale. That's a minor something like that. Yeah. Sure. Just because you know, us sitting here, the planning board and everyone looking at us gonna be like, well, what's what this? What is what this? Yeah. If you would label the buildings say eight, 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 eight unit townhomes, this is the restaurant building. Just because right now you wrote residential buildings, one bedroom, two bedrooms, isn't that? We don't know where it's kind of a very blank plan. Your text is really, really tiny. Sure. <laughs> but again, I mean, it is sketch, so we don't. Yeah, but it, it gives time. them a helpful Absolutely. kind of mm -hmm. overall idea. How many stories are there? Just we two. Have an elevation. Yeah, yeah, there's an yeah. elevation drawing. <clears throat> but as far as PRC, it's a sketch plan. You have everything as far there's as the this, this meeting and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So you asked me to walk you through it. Yeah, let's do sure. it. Sure, sure. So, so what we're trying to do here, um, uh, uh, Shauna actually started uh, our first contact uh, correctly and asked where I'd been the last two years. So that's that's when we started this. I didn't care for the plan at all, and eventually tore it up and decided to start over. So we were looking to to create a a fun, exciting, social place, community here. Um, and our first plan just didn't have that. So we went about coming up with some different ideas. How this works on the left side, um, it's fairly narrow here. Tried to do everything other, it, so it seems like the best thing to do is just make it as dense as possible over there. And then focus on the right side. So as you come down Fire Hall Road, um, you've got this combination clubhouse restaurant here. You've got office space over here, whether it's a coffee house, ice cream shop, don't know. Um, then as you, you come back in the bank side, the clubhouse, uh, the pool, and then we're hoping this, this, this is like actually the size of a football field here. There's a lot of space. This kind of becomes all mixed use. Um, although we've dropped some trees in here, uh, I, I've actually started my career out in landscape and realized uh, fairly quickly there's a big difference between landscape designers and what landscape architects can do. So this, although represented, it meets the requirements. We'll have an architect come up with a design here that kind of merges these two spaces together. The uh, parking lot here is kind of orphaned from the rest of the development. The hope is this, that, that this public space here and here is served by this parking lot and then this one, which is not needed by any of the residents. We've got um, two parking spaces per, per unit for every building and then extra parking spaces at every single building with the exception of down in here, it gets a little bit tight. Um, there's still, there are still more parking spaces than you need here. No garages. No garages. Um, yeah, don't want any part of garages. <laughs> Everyone they don't look nice. Yeah. Everyone likes to get their car out of the snow, though. They, they do, and there seems to be a lot of uh, people in the public storage business. <coughs> um, and we've also seen examples of these developments like this, and really all you see is garage doors. They oh, really? seem to yeah. be out front celebrated, and that's, yeah, so the intent here is this is rental property. We're mm -hmm. not doing condos to sell. It's strictly mm -hmm. rental. 
Um, combination one, two, and three bedrooms. We've got this figured out so that the one, two, and three fit within the footprint of the building. So depending on how it fills up, you can accommodate whatever the market is, is indicating. Um, but they're meant to be market rate, I'm guessing. Correct. So our, our lighting requires full cutoff of the town. Say that again. Our, our lighting requires full cutoff. You can't see the bulb. You can't see the light. All the light shines downward. So pretty, pretty much all the lights you show are violation of town code. Um, yes. <laughs> Hang on a second. <laughs> So here, here's kind of our conduit map. One thing we're trying to do here, the electric cars are coming. We've got this set up so that every single unit will have a dedicated conduit out at their parking spot so that eventually their charging station shows up. Um, Technology is not quite there yet, but get the conduit right to the edge of the sidewalk allows us to accommodate whatever does come. Mm -hmm. Doesn't our code have lighting standards? Yeah. <laughs> so I know. I'm, just, late, I'm curious days. about your comments. What, what he's proposing is canary lighting, which is stuff like this, which for Fire Hall Road, yes. But that doesn't meet our town code as far as lighting. A lighting dark sky compliant. Uh, sure. The light bulb shielded and hidden inside a shroud, and all the light sure. shines down. Sure. We're trying to create this festive. Mm -hmm. I know. Yep. Fun. Can you pull the drawing up of the string lights? Or uh, you, if you are, you probably already seen it. Does it exact? Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're we're it trying. It does, doesn't meet town code. Doesn't meet town code. Hmm. Chris. Well, we're ahead okay. yes. of ourselves. Does that uh, that type of idea? What would happen would be what he, in order to get that if that was something he wanted to pursue. Yeah. If he you would, looked at, I mean, New York State Uniform Energy Code mm -hmm. for street lighting and stuff like that, it, it really is inefficient and doesn't meet lots per square foot for outdoor lighting. And as far as controls and dimming and stuff, I mean, it looks great, sounds great. These lights don't meet the LED. The requirement either. So we can we'll talk about later. Yeah, yeah. We can change that. So that, that's the these these would be the functional lights. These mm -hmm. would be more decorative mm -hmm. than anything else. Yeah, I think you would functional. probably probably need to have like a two type of plans, right? Your lighting plan going forward, assuming we did a lighting plan not showing those so that we could get a good understanding of whether or not your site is compliant with the required lighting that's for safety pedestrian accessibility, those type of things. And then if you were going to pursue this other option, you're gonna to have to work with staff on that. I know we're getting way ahead of ourselves. Yeah, we are. Our options oh. to do stuff like this, area, though, like can there a suspended LED yeah, street so lights? I mean, my question though, is he's in the form-based code area. Isn't, isn't that a totally different code? No, from no. Not, not, not from lighting, building, not from lighting, not, not energy. from energy code. Mm -hmm. This is. We're talking uniform New York State. Code. Okay. Yeah. We're all trying to go nicer to clean yeah, energy, yeah, yeah, yeah. not wasted, not mm -hmm. spill light, all that stuff. So well, let's get back to yes. the concept of what you're proposing, which is great. Yes. And that's what we need to think about as you okay. sketch planning okay. down. We which can... is which is this? All oh, right. So and the buildings, right? Because it's form base. Yeah, yeah the buildings that are very a important. pond in a pool. So that so these are stormwater ponds, okay. and they are they are estimated. Uh, sure. Very large. Okay. Uh, so accommodate the plan. Um, okay, yeah, those are so both those are set up. It, okay. it, it estimated at large, and went twenty percent. Then went to the hundred year event, and so you'll effectively never see that. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, make them smaller. And you have sidewalks throughout as well, sidewalks did you say? Sidewalks through everywhere. I'm uh, really hoping, oh, yeah. especially when you start wandering around oh, yeah. through this football field. Yep. I'm hoping there's like little gazebos out Trails here, and little things. possibly kitchens to for the residents to come and. Did you originally talk about some playing fields, soccer? 
No, we haven't considered no. that. Certainly oh, looking to use that as more of like tent space, event space, okay. fun space, like mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And you guys have done a really nice park down the street. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yep. And so you you went through the form based code and started designing your idea to match some of the intent of that code or very much so mm -hmm. i studied that very intently mm -hmm. um so so yeah so we also need ideally this is connected to the city we're missing some sidewalks along mm -hmm. uh kepner um the rest of the way down down park there, or on fire i'm sorry mm -hmm. And then we also, this plan is contingent upon or, or using the idea of curbs down Fire Hall Road, which don't exist. So our, what's yep. the extent of our partnership here? Mm -hmm. right. <clears throat> so it sounds like your concept of residential is like a, a row house effect. The, the, the units are out toward the street, parking's in the rear, no garages. Uh, so. Uh, yeah. Have you been up and down? No uh, parking in the front. Like, like, uh, well, like, thought he said parking. You can't have parking in the front. So, well, oh, I mean, so, so your, your along, house is here. You're fronting. Yeah, yeah well, on Fire yeah. Hall Road. So, what we're, what we're, so yeah, I, I apologize. I actually oh, didn't say that right. True. We've kind of matched this. Have you been up and down, like in Boston and Newberry Street <coughs> and Arrowboro Street and those streets where everything is pushed tight to the road? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've got all those little individual. It's Philadelphia, but same thing. Uh, uh, same yep. thing. The Baltimore, little, yeah. all of those. Things. All yep. the same. That's yep. really what we're looking at. Those sure, little individual mm -hmm. landscape yards with the trees close. And, and then parking in the front. Although, yeah. although we don't, we're not including any of this parking in our plan. So technically, we don't need it at all. Um, it just seems like it's I'm open to your opinions on this. It mm -hmm. seems, seems like that's usually how the way they do it. Where is the that's this, one street park? That's so, on street on Fire Hall. On yeah. Fire Hall, yeah. yeah. On street on fire. Where would, okay. Like where? I mean, just curiosity. Yeah. Because I don't know the answer. So somebody's the mailman's coming, delivering mail. Yeah. Typically stops, puts in the mailbox. Yeah. Where's the mailbox in this location? It's inside the clubhouse. It's clubhouse, right? Oh, so right. it's one spot. Oh, okay. Part of the of, of, of kind of driving that social part. Yep. So do you come? Nope. Makes sense to me. Just get your mail. Yeah. Make sure I understood that. Yeah. Same Hopefully way. the post office goes with that. They've got some strange rules. That's though. typically that's what we've seen. They have their own in these locations yeah, sometimes. Yeah. What about um garbage disposal? Yeah, they're scattered around. Actually, pole, there's one right here. There's so a central location. Right here. Yep. I've got them. I got you. Okay. I just want to make sure we're clear about that. Pretty far away from people's houses. Um, <coughs> might need more. Well, there's there's uh, uh I've got kind of like every group, I've got them. Okay. Well, I'm saying this is. 400 yards. Right, we can get. I'm confused uh, by this plan. I'm just saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't understand what but, I'm looking at. But you don't want them all over the place. But then you have an 80 year old lady that wants to be able to get her garbage to a dumpster and not walk. Yeah. Anyway, that's just a comment. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. So the main, I'm, I know this, the main road is Fire Hall. Correct. And that's where everything's kind of geared towards. The form based code is tying Fire Hall Road basically into right. that form based code. Yeah. And then all of the other access points are more geared towards like accessibility to those to, the to those areas. Right. Okay. Yeah. What is, yeah. can you explain that that road at the bottom? Is that, that, yeah, is that, what is, is that Kepner? Is that Kepner? Uh, uh, Kepner's not showing up, but Kepner's, there's another, there's uh, a business in there. About a hundred foot lock here on the corner of Kepner and Fire like Hall. Road. Okay. Yeah. This is just, Fully in. Yeah, this, so for emergency vehicles or just accessibility, just that's parking. what the point is. Yeah. Okay. So you it. would get to this corner from, you can't get to it from the north down. Correct. You would come in from the south up. Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. Yeah. And then it's a little loop. In yeah. The, in, in back out. And that's your commercial area down there? So the commercial area is kind of right in the middle. So um, there's. <clears throat> A, a whole idea. lot of landmines with putting commercial areas inside of residential site plans <laughs> like this, and a lot of them fail. And, and from what I've studied on this, the reason they fail is they're not on the edge 
you know, site plan is all about the story and the edge. So yeah. people feel if you've got them buried back in, people now feel that they're trespassing on somebody else's place. I'm not going there. So we've got these right on the edge of Fire Hall Road. Again, the parking lot is inconvenient to use as a residence. Um, so hopefully that works to draw this in. We're um, originally planning this to be, uh, again, lights over top of here, a fairly festive, sure. open, fun place. Beer hall. <laughs> Say beer hall. There's a lot of people that are obsessed with beer around here. There you go, beer hall. <laughs> Just a tip. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, so people Trust sitting it. out. And, and extremely accessible. And that brought a building's over there to the right are they residential everything They're else the, is residential that's residential oh, that's, that's residential there. residential residential yeah, so, yeah. So, so yeah. everything is residential except for where and that's stuff those area right okay there. that's stuff just below the pool those are also more units correct, correct. okay yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I'm also having difficulty understanding the plan. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, yeah, Jen, the, those units, that's the, what about moving the parking, flipping it to the back? Because ultimately, we don't want parking in front of the units like same, that. Same as this, same as this. We don't want parking and parking right. as rear units. And so, like you have on like you have, yeah. fire hall same concept you're flipping even the internal so, area yeah, even the inside. Have to have that well idea. i think the, the form based guys, code is is well, looking for this way parking with that. anything your your argument is you want people entering their units in the back door that that's very urban too yeah you got is. the alleys the <clears throat> rear load mm, good point you know yeah um, so with, for this area over here, we thought about it only because the front of the units would be more nice to look at. Do, Without the parking. Yeah. Right? Are you anticipating yeah. any, like, these are just buildings to be rented. The space, so all the perimeter space is going to be maintained by right. common area. By the place. Yeah. So if we put the parking in the back, you do lose your rear yards. I don't yeah. know what the age group they're well, looking for because well, they're also backing on a park though essentially right. i mean that's yeah. a good point too so there's other amenities nearby yeah so there's so these park well, park these well, backyards in the front too yeah so we can switch them all that's an interesting point i mean that's kind of what the form based code was asking for Definitely. was rear and side parking i don't think it allows front <laughs> it doesn't yeah, yeah so a lot of these like these you're parking in the front these you're parking in the rear but if they were all like Fire Hall Road, yeah. if they were all geared to match what he's doing on Fire Hall Road, and do you that would be more parking on Fire Hall Road, give them a nice big front yard. Possible. I mean that that I do see the benefit of pushing it to match the form based code. I'm only concerned with the fact that I feel like we're going to increase impervious surface even more mm -hmm. and remove even more of the green space, and maybe. Maybe that's a density thing, but I, when we start to do that, in order to get your turning movements, you're going to increase oh, yeah. the curvier space going yeah. to the back. Is it yeah. pretty flat? Dead flat. So flat. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was thinking it was pretty it's flat. flat and wet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you're right. I mean, the form based code is pretty clear and not for nothing. Parking. We don't have many of these coming through, so we're going to be scrutinizing. Yeah, each this one. is going to be our first. Uh, yeah. review. you. <laughs> I think. Well, I think it's an exciting start, though. I mean, yeah. it's definitely. It absolutely is. It's creative. It's interesting. I think there's yeah, definitely a lot to work with here. <laughs> Very much. And remember, we are just sketch. So. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's the yeah. value of the sketch. This That's is the, the beauty the of part it. of getting the whole comments and stuff right sure. now. Sure. So you and the walk the stream that goes through here. So there are some like, serious challenges with coming up with this design. Because it's a, it's a DC blue line street. Yes. There's a. a oh, it is blue line. Right. What there. does blue line mean? It's a classified DC street. So, so 25 nice. foot total easement on both sides. 100, 100 feet. Building. So variance. Yeah, that would be this. It All means right. that so the DC regulates it. Both sides. Yeah, so variance. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. 
All right. But you had to maintain the corridor. Yeah, and and uh, culvert cover, just uh, like it is. Oh, uh, just like it is. I know, but for a long distance, the culverts, the DC isn't to one hundred percent great on that because it's not a natural environment. Doesn't allow things to live and grow and stuff like that. You might end up with some issues trying to cover an entire length. We had a project similar, a car dealership. They had to go through a process yeah. with DC, so it would. If you are moving towards that idea, it would make sense to have that conversation with DEC about what you're intending to do because okay. it's going to dictate a lot on your site. Okay. But now, Chris is right. They, they typically want to keep it natural. Yeah, because, again, things don't live in a culvert pipe that you want to see. Mm -hmm. Also, they, they alligators. They want to keep the flow. So this this also right here. Yeah. Not yet. This is Tom Carol has a strut on the way in. I was looking at all of them. I'm going to show you a picture of that. Great minds. Just to give you an idea of design wise. That's all good. Uh, where is it? It's not a house, Emerson. Do I have a picture of Emerson? Mm -hmm. So this is it. Yeah. Full to the top. Yeah. I've, I've been out there. To, I've <laughs> You've witnessed that. You know what I'm saying? This is 16 feet deep. Yeah. So okay. this thing is scary. The ditch is scary. And yes. we're not going near it. Mm -hmm. I'm not draining any water into that. I'm not going near I'm just that. saying, I've seen points where this comes over oh, and connects these two. I've never seen that. Yeah, that was that picture you saw. This is, I was standing here and the water was up to my feet. So where is that on his plan? Yeah, so we don't we don't have anything near that. that. that that's so often that's a different yellow. Parcel. Everything yellow oh, okay. is his parcel. Yeah. Yeah. So that's up near where the 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 town owns this parcel. Okay. And it's part of our stormwater kind of infrastructure to allow during big rain events us yeah. to kind of hold back some of the water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it does that. It it creates the it's this, but I've seen these this thing overflow to the point where it connects these two. So, but can you just go back to his plan so we can see where that is on his plan? So you're flooding my plan. <laughs> no, it's right here. <laughs> okay, so it's just off. This, this ditch comes along here and then it curves. You, you say ditch, but it's a street. Uh, so that's interesting because most of the time it's, it's there's nothing in it. Yep. It's only during right. events. But if you the, the little blue line, yeah, D, the blue line just represents the fact that DEC's identified that as a tributary that they want to have say in. Sure. So sure. any any work near or adjacent to that requires coordination with them. Which is okay. the same as this one. Same yeah. with that one. Okay. So so our intent is those two stormwater ponds that we have is to connect to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm just saying you also have touching. you also have stuff designed along this. So we're saying 25 feet of Actually, I guess 50 feet from that blue line center to where yeah, I think that's a 100 foot is our thing, too. I don't know what it's called. Is that 100 foot wetland kind of buffer from the street? Uh, that was my next question, Chris. There's got to be wetlands on the site. Uh, honestly, I've walked it and it's, it's rough. Yeah. Okay. Like, I've, I have this right Good. here. That makes it easier then. <laughs> Of, <laughs> it, it's nice during dry events, mm -hmm. but there's there's been some incidents where, like back to that picture, <laughs> this is me standing on this. There's a big drain there. When it, it, that's spring, I assume. I don't know it's summer because we got well. This stuff is what is street. This was part of the event. Yeah, but that like here's outhouse park. Yes, that we've seen. <coughs> What's that from 2014? Yeah, I have some. <coughs> Crystal, is this, in a, is this in a designated flood zone? Uh, the new flood zone? This I don't know. Yeah, that might I be a question that you'll have to look into too. 
is you might want to look at the new FEMA maps. They're on you, Encore now. I, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I got them. Because if you're in the flood zone, obviously there's other things that have to be common. Yeah, I've not seen any indication of that, but if there's new maps. And they're still in their draft. Yeah, they're still, they haven't finalized, but. Right. Um, <clears throat> so, so back to your comment about, so 100 foot from. The bed of the stream. From the bed of the stream. That's, we can override that with a variance or? Yes. You can request a variance. Oh, okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. That would be part of the process. Oh, yeah, that'll that be part of your flooding? formal okay. application. Okay. So it's just something to be aware of now. Yeah, as yeah. You I don't want to be clicked. Yeah. Uh, I see hashed. Yeah, one is a floodway and one is like the 500 uh, okay. meters. So orange is everything orange and in is 500. Yeah, so you're good on it. doesn't show everything with the blue lines. Yeah. So yeah. you don't see any R. I'm just wondering what the like bright. Yeah. Oh no, they, they, they where can they're brand where yeah. can extend yeah. to. Like, like, yeah. I just went to like, the <laughs> comments on them before they adopt them, but like here's the no, those are the like, foot areas there. Here's the drafts ones. <laughs> and if you look at Boy, the that lake's ones. really wet. <laughs> <laughs> Don't build anything on top of there. <laughs> wow. I didn't realize it would go that way. Well, that's yeah. all the lagoons. And yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but if you look at here's <laughs> Sandy Point, Sandy yeah, Beach. Sandy Beach. <laughs> but then they the beach is the draft. <laughs> yeah. I bet Vine Valley is a whole nother <laughs> Y of the lake, probably. <laughs> I, I have to click these exciting new clicky things on. So on I think you're, I mean, yeah. if you can get us a plan that just is more uh, straightforward and one bold. view. Just bold. Yeah, sure. That's all. Don't do too much work because it is sketch. <coughs> do we have, I saw what looked like the residential building. Do we have anything on the commercial building, what that would look like? No, we don't. Haven't really dabbled Still with that. that I only state that because obviously form based code requires, I mean, it's really a lot of its architectural mm -hmm. requirements. So I don't know if you have maybe even a picture of something that you were looking to mimic. Yeah, that's a great idea. In. Yeah. Okay. So I don't doing have the design, do but a just a, a picture that you might want to, okay, something similar to this, then we got something to go mm -hmm. off of. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. A lot of the work in this is not only the layout, which you would think would be the majority of it, but it's it's going to come down to the architectural stuff. Mm -hmm. very, very I think true. that's really going to be very important. Well, it's yeah. our first go through too, so it's good. Yeah, we're going to work with you on this because we're newbies. We're, yeah. With the form based code. As far as your commercial thing goes, too, I don't know if you're aware that in the city they just opened a coffee shop in the yeah, middle of um, Lisbon. The what's this called now? The, the uh, two something. What is the name? Uh, of go the, on your way out of here. Today, yeah. Drive down um, on, Gorham, on Street. Gorham Street okay. um, and go it on the right hand side there. There's a new apartment. They rehabbed an old manufacturing facility to an apartment facility, yeah. and they have a coffee shop and such in there right now. Oh, so, yeah, it's so, called, it's great. I just went there yeah. for the first time last week. Yeah, it fits so. in really well. It's a similar thought process, you know, urban with a little bit of commercial in there, yeah. and it's in progress too. So. Yeah. I'll check that out. Thank yeah. you. Sure, any referrals? No. Sketch. No. The referrals? No. no. Which meeting? We got to do. It's up to you guys. I mean, yeah. it's, 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 it's up to you guys. Do you want to just put it on? I don't think it's the first meeting. I think going so. to Boston this week, so I'll have to check out Newbury Street. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at images of it here. The, street, the streets that are parallel with that, too. That's yeah. really cool. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Check out Marlboro Street. Marlboro Street. Street. Okay. Okay. That's what's inspiring you. So the first check it meeting in May. So it doesn't go any place? No. Just to Chris. Chris doesn't even need it. Okay, no referral. Uh, Jim wants to make any changes to the plan and sketch. Uh, when do you need that? Is Casey out there? I think somebody's out there. Yeah, can you have him come in? He's sure. with the Ag Society. Um, if you can get us a plan, how quickly can you get us a oh, this boulder? Way. Okay, that's great. Just bold the building. That's so, it. Okay. so that I mean, everything else is great just so we can see the buildings. Yeah, okay. that's all. Okay. And the tax maybe for the broadway. So. Absolutely. Yeah, to see I, where I, Fire Hall is. I've got that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks, what, Jim. What happens next? 
you come to the May and you place. Same thing. At the well, well, and just talk yeah, the first one, right? Okay. Yep. May what 10th. Is, May 10th. May 10th. You guys. Where we'll if, work yeah, I mean, we, you take all the comments there. And then we'll do a formal okay. application. And You'll be really meeting with the planning board, Jim, and they will be giving you comments on the plan. You can take them for what they're worth, and, and then at some point you'll probably want to make a formal application. For a preliminary and then you would, mm -hmm. you would follow the procedure in the form based code. Oh, yeah. Does that go to the town okay. board first? Or yeah, yeah, we'll work. It does. It's yeah. going to go to the town board. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. <clears throat> so everyone has their say on this one. Oh, yeah. It's very, it's very positive. visible, it's usually but in a good way. Good. Yeah. Good. Thank so, you very Thank you. Well, thank you. Very much. Nice to meet you. Look, look forward You're to working interested. with you. All us. right. Take care. Have a good day. Bye bye. You too. Take care. Is it 10 or 12? You might want to reach out to DEC just in case. I will. I'll just have that preliminary dialogue. This one's going to be really quick. Okay. Very helpful. Thank you. Which one are we in? Uh, Casey, uh, the the egg barn. Egg. Hey, Casey. building. Hi, how you doing? A egg pig barn. Pig barn. The oh, the pig barn. Yeah, yeah. In the middle of another building. So there's setback. No setbacks this night. We need yeah. the fire code setback from the other buildings and stuff. So. No water, right? No Correct. Nothing. Yeah, it needs to go to planning board because it's over a thousand square feet in the CC or the I. I, it's I over high. there. So, I think yeah. you need to put temporary and big bold letters in this. <laughs> well, it's not temporary. It's well, a temporary building. housing it's of building. pigs. It's, it's, it is a it's <laughs> an <laughs> annual housing. There you go. Mm -hmm. But that, that's really where we're at. It's just yeah. First, the, the application. I mean, yeah. Did you need? Did you want to tell us anything about it? So one of the main reasons, well, the reason why we're building it, first of all, is is we're growing, yeah. which is which is a good thing, mm -hmm. and then uh, that also makes it hard to show where we currently show them in the in the older building. It's hard for the public to see them. It's a very okay. popular show. Yeah, we remodeled right where that arrow is, just just inside of that T of the building uh, of the H. Is a is a show ring that we remodeled. Well, about five years ago, and uh, that'll give us better access for the people to watch the show if the building is located there and we get our space that we need for the actual animals, and then they'll be able to access that show ring that's in the middle of the complex there. Are you just filling out that little stub that's coming right out? You're there. finishing that off? We would like... It's not probably. finishing. It's it's its own. Yeah, yeah. It, just just for fun. Oh, okay. Yep. You probably through. will need to extend this drive down to here. Oh, we, we do plan to do that because okay. we want the public to have better. I know. Yeah. It's just you'll be you have to have it so a fire vehicle can get within okay. seventy feet of the building. So All right. That that would be my only. Comment. Okay. That would be during the public stage kind of thing. Okay. Okay. I, mean, I don't think there's anything else. Like yeah, yeah, it's it's it's, it's a big fairly part. straightforward. Yeah, that's a big part. Casey, where was that other building that was approved probably last year or two? All right, so right this right here, that okay. So that nice. that's the large building that was approved. That's our our public All assembly ice, building, ice and then a year. Here. Well, then that one was done the year before that. Yeah. And then you go right straight down or south from there, right there. Yeah. Yeah. It was last year's poultry. Yeah. Building. Poultry, right? Correct. So this Correct. is for the pigs. Correct. Okay. So, I mean, there's no room for, I mean, there's no concern about building coverage. No, my coverage, building coverage, setbacks, everything's good. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, we appreciate it. We have had Thank a, you. Right. Okay. We've had uh, a lot of good support from the community. And we're able to keep going, which is great. What's the dates this summer? The dates is July 26 to 30. I did uh, mention the whole you're storing stuff in the winter. That's actually an approved use of all the right. district. I'm just saying, just so if anyone brings it up, okay. it is an approved use. If you want to store stuff in the winter, okay. the barn and wrap the boats, right? It's an approved use. Oh, great. Great, 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 great. Well, we appreciate that too. Yeah, it's a big help. Secret? Seeker. Unlisted. Big barn. We'll see. I, don't know if big barn falls in the <laughs> I, I I would say unlisted, but I think I think if it's under four thousand square feet, it could be a type two. But I have to. I'll just double check. So let's call it unlisted. You already provided a short EAF. It's, and it's, it's technically agricultural. That's and what I, I was going to say. Be, oh, it's it's exactly. it so exempt? let's just go to the acceptable. I have good call. Yeah, good. yeah, yeah, it's a we'll just call it that, and that helps. 
Yeah, we, we don't want to ham it up. Yeah, right. I don't want to get this. Ham it up. Good. I don't. Does it you want to see this? No, I didn't think so. No, not in the middle of the fairgrounds. Nobody. I would say me and MRB, but. MRB doesn't want to build much to it because it's a. Joke. I don't want to have so you guys. Yeah, I don't want to get let's... yelled at anymore. Yeah, you know, that's, <laughs> that's that's right in the middle of an existing Chris. building anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. just Chris Jensen. Just Chris. Chris. We don't need it's fire. Up there, Casey. <laughs> All right, go. All right, thank you, Casey. All right. See you twenty fifth. Uh, sure. Pick a meeting. Do we want to do the do this one the twelfth? It has to be the second because it's the twenty fourth. Twenty fourth. Yeah, please. Your magic 24th meeting sounds like a nice, easy meeting with nothing to talk about. <laughs> so, um, Bye. Thank you, Casey. Thank you. Um, that's the only really nice. They have like a, yeah. like well, an office yeah. building, like an open ring and stuff like that. They do good. Nice we should do like there. a town employee day at the fair or something and come out for that's a fun idea. Yeah. I always have to expect it every year. You do. <laughs> there you go. You, no, can, I don't have you can be like, I'm there. working. <laughs> No I'm fried I'm dough working. <laughs> Was there anybody else out there? No, Where is Derby Night? Simmons Rockwell. Where is it? Or well, where Elmira. Where, where is that? Yeah, I'm surprised they're not here. Well, is there anybody waiting? Not anybody else? Waiting room or anything like that. Sure. Hmm. Well, we'll just tell them what they're missing. <laughs> Where is their everything? Well, it's good that they well, didn't we did show up. We did of operations. So that was good. Did we get an actual survey? I think we did. This is Simmons Rock. 29, 22, 29. That Rocco? Yep. Yeah. Okay. We're just going to give you these plans and let you, let you go to take a crack on Adam because which ones are they're these? missing the uh Simmons Rockwell. Okay, diverse, is it diversified? Is that what they want to look like? really like they just kind of oh, diversified use, equipment use LLC sketch it to sketch things on things. And yeah, there's no proposed topography, there's no <laughs> there kind of is. Uh, it doesn't really. look like it, though, right? Really. I mean, here's, here's the plan, but I don't really know. It's your, your, we just, Chris was like, just give it to him. <laughs> no, like, give like, it to like, Jason so, like, knows, <laughs> Jason knows better. Like, uh, no, like, here's the grading plan, but it doesn't show the parking lot, the driveway. No, it's not it's graded not, to not, accommodate not, the proposed. It's items. not existing grade, proposed grades. You're talking about there's a box there. I we can need to talk about the time on this one today. <laughs> I it just think it's lacking a lot of details. Sure. I would say it's almost incomplete. Yeah. <clears throat> so what can we go back to the overall plan, Chris, real quick? I'm having difficulty. Where is this on 332? You know where the silo the is. The silo is. See the silo. Oh, this is the yeah. boat storage thing and all that that mm -hmm. used to be up there. No, it's up, no, up the road. This it's is, north. This is way up there. Yeah. This is almost to the edge of town. Across from the uh, it's almost the town line. Oh, okay, over there. Got it, got it, got it. The um, old yes, 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 yes. I know where you are. Yeah. What are they trying to do? I was confused. They want by this. to put a Kubota. Uh, it is an approved use. It is. It's, like, you know, it's actually commercial still up there. Yeah. So it's this line right here. What do I want to say? What is it in the um the CC? It's, it's in the what's it called? No. The mule. Sorry. It's not yeah, in the, the strategic the farm manual. protection. Oh yes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um what do I oh no, Bobcat skip steer? They refurbish heavy machinery and then resell them. So when that's ready, ECB will want to see that. So but that's yeah. kind of keep the silo looks like they want to keep the silo um which I, <laughs> they want to i'm not sure whatever they it's, do it. it's i don't know if this warrants planning board review right now are there the elves for the stormwater and the pond? I'm here and incomplete. Uh, like, yeah, I mean, if you, we need, they give us. It there's like no limits of disturbance. It's there's, very, very, it almost looks like a sketch plan to me. Yeah. Scroll down. What are the other sheets? That's what I'm saying. Here's the grading, which doesn't this actually show the improvement. It doesn't show you the, the driveway, the parking lot. <laughs> that existing grading. 
No, it shows no. the proposed ending. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, but oh, it's but they don't show the ability. It shows like shadow. Yeah, they look like that. They want to grade for that, and they're going to put the they surgery forgot, in, but they, they didn't put forgot to turn the layers on and stuff. Yeah. Or just, it looks like they did it overnight quickly and mm. through standard kind of. Thing. What I don't is think that? Those are our details. Those are no. All. The, what is the detail to the left? It's just a standard DEC. What's the picture of? Entrance, concrete washout, driveway, filter, silt fence. It's standard boilerplate. <clears throat> but where's they obviously have water, right? Did you see a water detail? I mean, it has a septic plan. It's septic. No landscaping. Oh, it's an infiltration design. trench okay. detail. It's commercial driveway detail off a of state route, but there really is no. I. Nope. I think we did. What do you want to do? Incomplete. Incomplete. Yep. Missing too many yep. key yeah, factors. Yeah. There's no. There's no uh, engineering report. There's no stormwater report. Yeah. The plans are missing. Okay. All you got to do is take your checklist and just put searches in. Yeah. We'll missing. do that. We can give them until Friday to get it in. Yeah. Being that it's a single stage, all that stormwater stuff has to be done. Oh, right. The whole engineering oh. report and yep. yeah. So. Everything. Some yeah, communities so do the preliminary it. final, so a lot of times these engineers come in and they submit it, and they're like, "Well, I can give it to you after preliminary, but you know, here it's a single stage review. It's one board meeting really essentially, right? Single stage. Single stage. So, All right, let's do actually can, do can the it be checklist. single stage with the commercial cycle. That I don't know. I That's, I was making an assumption. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't even think about it. I was just assuming that was single stage. It's an incomplete assumption. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was really bad. Thankfully, it's just us. I don't know if commercial. I'm trying to think of well, uh, no, Fontanet was single stage, right? That was commercial. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's very, allowed. very similar to that. So the two items that we know definitely is update the grading plan to accommodate the proposed improvements and include um, your stormwater analysis and calculations. And SWIP. SWIP. Uh, They're two different things. Right. Were there even setback lines on here? Uh, it looked like there was something shown in terms of setbacks, but I couldn't. I didn't. I couldn't tell. Oh, oh. That's the thing. There's there's no proposed setbacks. There's no dimensions from the building. There there's right here, but on that site plan, it does show. Is there a zoning chart? Uh, no, it doesn't look like. I don't it. think so. I I'll, I think I'll if you guys if we go through the checklist, we'll yeah. you do it you'll be the Hit them up on a number of things. Do we want to do that now? Yeah. yeah it looks so it's not. Actually, no, it might be. No, I think. Or here. Now let's look. I thought it was in. What? The agricultural. The room. ag. Because that corner piece. Yeah, this well, little they, bit right there. I've always been upset with that drawing. It looks like a two year old drawing. Yeah. You can't. Well, the, yeah, like it with a creation. And my bee's name's not on it. That's good. Hey, no, it really shouldn't follow the <laughs> property lines. Just like. Nervous when we have Sean and I have to make some determinations based on that, and that thick yeah. red line covers the yeah. whole parcel. Sorry, your yeah. parcel's under the red line. I don't really exactly. know. Yeah. Yes, it's inside it. It's, it I, is. I, I actually just tried driving the, the mouse so over the wall. Or was it, no. <laughs> it is. It's like right here. It is this parcel right there. Uh, to, uh, but it's okay. So the soil's not. Behind, but it's, but it's in the it's area. area. Yeah. yeah. I actually just tried to drag my mouse. I love that you did that. Thank you. Is it the uh, MUO up there too? Checking uh, to see if the all the I could spend two hours in this room. Yeah. Yeah. She's not course so much to answer the questions, but that's what all these guys are. They're really important. Yeah, there is no the MUO is across the street. Ah, that blue. It is in the MUO too. It doesn't list it as this MUO. It's north of Purdy, right? Uh, 
Yeah. 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 You can probably right, take that down if you want to not hurt your neck. I think this one. You can see outside, right? Just pull it down, Sean. Right here, guys. Look. It's right there. Yeah. Yep. So it's in the MUO too. No, it's not. It's not. Nope. Okay. Is it or is it not in the MUO? It is not. Okay. The blue is. Community commercial. CC. Oh, okay. <clears throat> but it is in the strategic farmland protection. Yeah. It is. So, what does that mean? That it's in there for farmland protection? It, it goes to the ag board? We should send it to the ag. It, it's not, there's nothing formally that mm -hmm. protects it. I got you. But you get some oversight from another. But yeah, group. it's looked at more. Um, <clears throat> Strategically, I guess. Sure. Really. It can be used as a reason to look at it deeper. Into right, right. Is it currently being farmed? Uh, I know that. parcel was not. No. No. It, it is a little bit. Think, yeah, they were going to put a car dealership there. One right. Well, that's what I thought, yeah. too. I was that's where they bought the one. So the corner looks like it, it is, though, possibly. Right yeah. So maybe, I mean, I guess it's, is it possible that, let's say, the farming committee says, hey, we want to let whatever farming operations were existing continue. Is that something that could happen or no? They, Is that, I mean, they couldn't force They can't so finish that. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. Especially since I was just curious. Kind of yeah, makes sense. Is that a land? Yeah, this is Mark. Um, just real quick, I, I had actually talked to Doug about this property at one point, and he indicated that because it was in protect, the protected ag, that the intended commercial purpose, if it served ag, could also be allowed. Because there were a number of things that in, at that time he didn't think could be allowed related to it, unless it tied back to ag. And I think I think this purpose probably falls into that. Yes, yeah. I mean it's. But it, but it is in the CC zoning district, and it's a princely permitted use in the zoning district. Mm -hmm. So the determination will be their proposed use is a permitted princely permitted use. Got it. Cool. But that's something that sounds like that would be something to actually look, look at Absolutely. and have to provide their thoughts on that as well. But okay, that makes sense. I I we haven't had many. Mm -hmm. that have come to us no. in the protection area so well, the, the the solar is one right yeah We're, we might have more solar coming up too i got two more people i'm there. sure oh, we yeah. will i'm sure i, I, mean, I, two? I literally yeah. every project i look at one's not one solar one's yeah. not one solar <laughs> yeah i will put it also in my zoning determination that it's a you know okay absolutely <laughs> The so you're taking care of the checklist. I'm going to take care of the checklist today. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But uh, at a minimum, those two items that we mentioned are three, four, the plan five. Plan. So Unless they can get it done by Friday. Lighting plan? Lighting, everything. It's there, just nothing. I can't envision this being able to come in by Friday. Yeah, it's just kind of a lacking. Thing. So we uh, deem it incomplete today. Uh, does it have to come back to PRC in May? I think it should. The the zoning law determination will be that the yeah, what are they what are they proposing to stay there again? I'm sorry, Kubota dealership. Kubota Bobcat skid steer repair and resale. Yeah, so it's all it's an approved use. Right. But then they'll have signage. It would be good for them to come into this. Yes. I'm, I'm really us, right? surprised they're not here. Yes. Yeah. And maybe that's um, another reason. There's, 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 no there's no proposed sign. There's no proposed sign. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I'm planning. assuming they will. But that has to go through. Planning. Right. Exactly. Well, it's got to go through yeah. the normal process. Well, no. I'm just. And that's going nice to be. Know. That's going to be a cutoff of 332, right? They don't have any other road access, right? They're going to have. They, they already have. A, okay. Oh, they do. Okay. Yeah, that's the one thing when they did 332 is they did put cutoffs. Future on, cutoffs. Yeah. A lot of the parcels because they didn't want to do. And it I, I, I told them also the applicant. I mean, this is a, the optics. You're coming into the town. This is an important part. This is one of the first things you'll see. This is what you're going to see. So, you know, if you're going to do this. You really need to be involved <clears throat> in this process. Honestly. Are we, are we, as a town, want to keep that silo that's there? That's a planning board. That's I'm just curious. It doesn't structure. I don't know. I don't know. It looks like it's. So I'm just trying to remember. I mean, it's kind of a cool feature. I just don't know if it's. The said they and, wanted to put you know, signage on, on it if that was even possible. <laughs> Do they want to put like a timeout bear there for signage? <laughs> <laughs> 
I was just curious. Uh, I'm sorry. What happened to that guy? I think that little so, chair. The evil town it, took it, it down. I mean, that's no, why the, the owner did because it was kind of no people put more and more garbage, more and more bears, and it's like that's. <laughs> The rumor was that the town was evil and made them take it no, away. No, that was the rumor. Oh, yeah. I was not part of the town. Well, boy, it's so <laughs> <laughs> to be clear. This is going to not reviewed by the PRC. You're going to have to come back. Well, we did review there. it. I mean, for the be It's incomplete. It's deemed incomplete. incomplete. It's been deemed incomplete. It will not get a date for okay. a planning board yet. It is encouraged that the applicant meet with town staff. And go over the missing items. Yeah, that is the time out there, right there, isn't it? No, that was way down there. <laughs> was it? Doesn't have to go any place now. You got to do all your. Yep, yep. Thank you, John. Back in May. Oh, that's right. The time out there. Yeah, that's the where they want to put that's it. The on the spot on there. Yeah. I honestly, I don't know. We what, what that you is. don't know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm stumped, so. Lance. That's how we know you're not a long time kind of big one. Sadly, I'm not. I don't care. <laughs> See, they know where the time is. This is not even from. <laughs> I'm sorry, I brought it up. Guys. It was right there. Yeah. Can you do a U turn anywhere? How long ago was that? Oh, no, 10 years ago, maybe. I was here the past 10 years. I just don't remember that. That's <laughs> somebody, terrible. Somebody oh, put up a chair and they put that down. Someone just duct taped up there to a tree. Yeah, they duct taped it. And, yeah. and yeah. it was like, wasn't it just a chair first? <laughs> and then <laughs> somebody put the bear on. All right. Yeah. Keep moving. Just the rest. <laughs> Chuck, to, you don't want to talk about the bear. We want to do. Well, we're Sorry. Incomplete. Uh, the bear can yeah. also <laughs> uh, So you got a couple of ZBA things, but. Uh, Wood. I'm selfish Thank looking for planning board. <laughs> selfish <laughs> looking for planning board. <laughs> Can we talk to the CC? Do you want to do the fence on Overlook? So, is he got yeah, a really right? quick fence on Overlook? The guy's got a property with three furnaces. He wants to put a six foot fence up in his backyard, but technically, he has front yard, front yard, front yard, side yard. No backs. It's a double quarter lot. It's a double frontage lot. <laughs> it's, it's double triple, 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 triple rainbow. Right, so what I don't know why you'd want a fence then on a triple <laughs> frontage lot. He wants his backyard. He wants a privacy. <laughs> yes. He wouldn't be able to put a four foot fence in, but we're allowing him to go to six with this. With a variance. And also, if it does come up during planning board, oh, the maybe it's a drainage and landscaping easement. Along the backs of these properties. The Why does issue it is, the trees? That's weird. It was done during the original subdivision approval. Oh. The issue is it was supposed to be to the HOA to maintain and everything like that. It's not town property. And when they filed the easement and everything, they didn't file a description with it that said what you can and cannot do within it. So mm -hmm. we've pretty much abandoned any enforcement of it. Okay. We've actually even offered this owner. To remove the sign because the owner's like, I don't want the sign in my yard. I'm like, it's not our sign, it's your sign. He's like, Well, the homeowners, I'm like, we have no homeowners. So it's the sign. They don't have an HOA? Do no, it was something that really happened weird during the approval process, which they should have. But now we own. So we have a town park in there. So yeah, so this is actually, yeah, yeah, I know it's this, the town park. But this is also. I thought they had still had an HOA. With the ponds and everything on it. So yeah, we maintain yeah. the ponds, we yeah. maintain mm -hmm. the, the open area. Where's that guy's actual property then? He's got the corner. So that he goes all the way straight through. That's not HOA on the on the it's it goes straight to Buffalo. Okay. There is yeah. yeah, there's no and he's not coming up, he's going to the edge of his house. He just wants back. he just wants to build a fence in this yeah. part yeah, of the yeah, yeah. six foot privacy fence for his dogs yeah. and kids. Mm -hmm. So yeah. very straightforward. Mm -hmm. Just Zee goes to zoning, doesn't That's it? not Zee planning Zee board. Just zoning. Just yeah. variance for two. <laughs> I can definitely understand that. Yeah. Yeah, I would want one there too. Mm -hmm. any, any place to go to get referrals? No. No, not even. I don't think so. Anyway. No, MRB doesn't even do this. I mean, you can even see the other, the other properties here. Yeah, it's just a fence. Down the road. <laughs> I would want a fence there too. He also submitted some nice um, renderings. We asked for them in color. Yeah. Is he doing wood or what? What is he doing? Probably vinyl. Vinyl. Yeah. 
Okay. What so, are those fences? Are those white? Those vinyl they're fences? white vinyl, six foot. Four foot, six foot? Oh, yeah. Okay, he's got a precedent. With the 17th? He's got a precedent. That's a cool him. view. What is that view called? Pictometry. Pic oh, that's the picture. Mm -hmm. Nice. You can get lots of angles. Something else to play with. I know. <laughs> I'm no, seriously no. going to spend my and life on this. Encore if I'm not careful. There's a button called View Historic <laughs> Images. Did yeah. you see this one? What is it? Uh, view Historic Images. Yes. And you can click on it. And, you can and there's see, nothingness. Like, yeah. No, no. If you click on like this. Yeah. Shows Indian heads? No. Like, <laughs> let's see. You can look at my neighborhood yeah. probably. No, oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but here's. I click on that and it shows you and it gives you a list of like aerial photos from 1938. Oh cool. Oh, is that how you got your London newspaper, Chris? That's cool. Well, <laughs> is that how you got your London newspaper? Oh, I'm gonna have to oh, look no, at that. Now. Another one. Oh man, is soils? This is way too yeah. exciting. Soils in 38. <laughs> School number seven. My old house was there. Oh, then, there's so. Academy. Cemetery. Yeah. <laughs> Like, oh, I'm going to have to look at that for my old house then, where the gravel pit was there. <laughs> wow. Look at all the trees along Wesley Oh my Road. gosh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, this is, I'm literally going to get lost. I'm going to, oh uh, my gosh, it's so exciting. Okay, much better than the time out there. <laughs> Okay, so we've got Patrick. <coughs> He's not. He said he was probably going to travel. Which one is that one? That is twenty-two oh twenty-three. Twenty-three. Okay. He's putting in the driveway, right? Yep. Or wants to put a little. So he did provide us with the asphalt drawing. You've shown us this, and the driveway is going to be one foot six from the property line, when ten foot's required. The, the thing is, is did he prove it in this question? It's up to the ZBA, but mm -hmm. you could really fit that driveway over here in front of his house, or over here if it's not so. Again, back to the ZBA. Does he indicate how close he is to a neighboring? The home? neighbor is uh, is livid. Uh, and the thing is, is I mean, if we grant this, every subdivision, every building, every lot, he's setting a precedent. So you had to prove that, <clears throat> that there's some sort of hardship. Yeah, there's no hardship. But yeah. It's up to ZVH. Right. That's not our call. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Moving on. Yeah. Is those any place to No. ZBA. ZBA. ZBA, and that's it. His question's for. Okay. He answered them, but that's a good idea. It's 99, Brennan Wood. That going forward? He said he got us what he needed. He needed more. Attached two car garage with a deck at the top of the new house. Oh, yeah, this is an old one. 90, not 20. So, what he kept, he kept giving us sketches. He kept giving us stuff. The problem is, so like, Here's the sketch plan. Yeah, show them. So here's the sketch plan, but here is saying, okay, the architect's saying it's 4.5 from the property line, but architects can't say it's from the property line. And then he drew it based on this old plan. He traced an old as built prior to him totally rebuilding the boathouse, rebuilding all this, rebuilding all this. So then we said, okay, you need a survey to base your plan on. He got a survey done which this is this survey which is an old survey where the old boat house was so like no no you need a survey showing where things are now a recent one i don't have it inside oh there we go this is existing. we got that right we got this one okay but he doesn't have a plan showing where the addition is on this new plan so you want him to yeah to draw it right and we couldn't uh, determine we can't determine setbacks. We can't determine size. Like no, right. it's so the same problem a lot of communities run into. They're like, oh, we allow sketch plan, but really, <laughs> really what it is, I need a survey. With but the, Z, the ZBA has to base their decision on a plan yep. that has boundary on it. I agree. 
Yeah. Well, hardly. How, how, how do you how do you make a determination the building is ten feet off the road if you don't have a pull in? Because what he shows is four point right. five feet, but if you look at the as built, it does say four point four point nine feet. So again, the sky is different from the, yeah. And anything closer than five feet to the property line has to be built with non combustible stuff because, because of the it's. Code. The building code, fire code, separation distance from property line, so fire doesn't jump from one building to the next. Sure. Kind of thing. So, again, there's a few things that need to be considered. I'm with you. Want me to put anything that he needs to do by Friday? Yeah, provide a proposed site plan based on the updated. We told them this last week. Plan. But we'll make it formal. But we'll make it formal. You got it in writing. Based said. on the updated existing conditions survey plan. I just want to see what I actually said. Yeah, a plan that shows a proposed addition on the 3-8 survey. We have nothing that shows what you want to do with measurements. On that plan. Yeah, we need it by Friday at the latest. Yep. That's what we asked them on Wednesday. Of last Combine week. the two things. Basically, yeah. That's it, it already went around to the different places in January. Because honestly, that, right that, that, uh, that landscape architect, or architect could say, Reference the survey and say it's four point nine feet, and then show it. But if he says it, then you have some that just in reference. Right. Yeah, I mean, you just had to one line and try and change that four nine Maybe or two four, five. Don't tie together without that that note. Is next. We just got twenty four. Skinner twenty four. Yeah. Twenty four. Oh, Did you talk garage. about the West Her? You not talking yeah, about the West Her? That the is just. It's just building permit. They don't need yeah. to plan. Okay. Building permit and new truck. Um, we are. We let them know they need a bunch of information. So this person, I wrote void violation on this one because again, they drew their sketch on someone else's plan. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> let's see. Excellent. We let them know Wednesday that we need a professionally pre prepared site plan showing all proposed improvements with proposed setbacks along with existing conditions by Friday the 15th. This is the Mueller one? So this again, is yes. Skinner. Is it Skinner? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yes, again, right. um, a professionally prepared site plan showing all proposed improvements yeah, it's Mueller and Skinner with proposed setbacks along with existing conditions. <clears throat> By Friday. By Friday, 4.15 at the latest. Yes. That's the one I've been in Cheshire. Yep. 22-24. Yeah. Because, I mean, they could reference this plan and have another architect just reference this and show it on it. But step sign certified, right. But you can't draw on top of someone else's. <laughs> and Rude's not even a player in the... Gregory Rude. He doesn't must have been that a None of those are previous. Is he the orthodontist? No. Different he Okay. We did the Coons. Okay, We've well, done Morris. 2231, I think. Metro. Oh, Metro. Oh, are they back? Yeah. Yeah. Metro is back with a form of a renewed application. Where's Metro? It's, it's, a, it's a new one. All same, oh, but new. Yeah. Yeah. All the same materials. Everything last time. the same. They, they went for approved. multiple okay. extensions and it Got expired, it. so they have to come back. So, what is Metros? Metros is a small subdivision on Bristol Road, the hammocks. basically by the hammocks. Very okay. narrow, skinny little lot. Nice little development. Yeah, we it's got some And we spent a lot of time on it. And you absolutely did. I went through the file and it was a very. <laughs> Detail. It's a conservation subdivision. Right. Uh -huh. It's got a large area on the back that's yeah. being preserved. I thought that was part of the hammocks. I didn't realize it was a separate. It's that you'll see it. It's you know, moderate it, price. It was like a sliver of land that was left. So there are never got right here and here. I'm building like I think eight. Well, eight. I think uh, eight or nine. Yeah. What's that flag connected to? It, it's nothing. There was some. Walkway green or access green walking, plan. The green they, never, they never did it. This is this oh, okay. We tried to get it connected, but the city didn't want it. That city over there? The city. But, no, but this goes here and it's owned by West oh. Metros. But then this is owned 
by a private owner. And this is what they connect to with what they have to sell. It's a trail to nowhere. Ah, you know what it could eventually do is connect. No, we all tried to. We, we all tried to convince people and try to get because the city was fine with this. I was going to say, as a former trails person, I'm like, wait, what's that? But this, <laughs> but this is owned by a private ownership yeah. right here. Where is that? Is Here that it is. Here's the development. I'm this is in the city. I know. Is that, um, am this I looking at so Thad Chapin? Is that plants, behind Thad Chapin? Uh, yeah. yeah, this is Thad Chapin. Yeah, well, okay. I don't do anything. <laughs> I think what I will do is I yeah. So it yeah. comes off of Bristol Road. Say that again. Yep. It's, it's almost across from. Yeah. Okay. If you, if you guys do that, then oh, yeah, you don't. Yeah. Get okay. No, I'm just because we told them. Well, Bush. Mm -hmm. God, yeah. This to this before they built their thirtieth home and stuff. Well, these are all electric. Yeah, this is the hammock. Yeah, so I think this is the taking space. Like this was supposed to be a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we did give it a new number. Yeah, it's uh, uh, 22026. I know, but I'm saying we have less seven than a quarter acre. Yeah, I'm just saying I'm talking about the meeting in June. The for Metro. Yeah. Why don't we do the first meeting in May? It's going back to the very beginning, right? Yeah. Or is it going back to? Did we? Shoot. Did we is do a preliminary approval? Does, yeah. Well, that's my question. Does it need preliminary and final? Uh, I. It's a brand, that's so we have to look at it. It's now a question for new. Chris Nadler, but I think we did do something similar where it went back to preliminary because do, the, the question is do you have preliminary plans that are signed? No. That was the hang up that he never got the preliminary plans. Yeah, signed. So we have nothing signed. Yeah. No, it, they had preliminary. They didn't, they I didn't. thought we signed I, preliminary. They, we have ever. And then the final, final came in. And the final was never signed. The preliminary was. That would be what? question one. Confirm that we have preliminary signed plans because if we do, I think then we go back to that and they're coming back in for final. I don't think we signed. I, I, but I if we don't have signed I didn't preliminary sign plans. Anything for Metro. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing. If we don't have preliminary signed plans, then right, it's probably let me find right. Out. Gotta go back to the there beginning. Was, there was a hang up with the easements. <laughs> uh, Chris had to approve the easement. Remember, Metro's said that we kept sending things to your attorney and got no response and I was trying to get the, the documents approved and so I remind me of the conservation subdivision review process. Two stage review, right? In order for them to come in and get final, which they got, for, they had to have preliminary signed plans. So they I, have to have had preliminary job, but it was the final that that's when the easements come in and you were we were waiting, waiting, waiting. So here's Okay. So here's but let me, so I maybe want we didn't sign permanent. Okay. We got right here. Sign. It says amended preliminary conservation subdivision plan. And this was 324. And then we also have final conservation subdivision plan. 324. 324. Right. Because he had it, they amended it on that day. And the, and, but but there's, a, there's another preliminary approval that the unamended one that was done before this. The question is were those plans required to be signed and signed? Typically, if they're signed, I think that's where they go back to. But if they're not signed, then that's I don't know okay. what the rule is. All right, we'll search everything. We did something like this with like Lakewood Meadows, where plan came in and we had to go back to preliminary and start from preliminary and then grant final grant for a, a section, a section. For the whole nope, just for that phase. phase. So, phase okay. let's call it whatever mm -hmm. nine and ten, right? They yep. had a preliminary approval that was the overall, right. 
And then they came back in with a new amended plan for a final nine and 10. They went back, we confirmed that it was substantially performing to the preliminary signed plan, and then it went back in for final. Okay. So this, has oh, this one has stage, one stage. Preliminary. Continue. So if it doesn't have preliminary, then they would be going back in for a preliminary. I will. I have to file. Yeah, the preliminary. So preliminary we well, also have overall and then final and final on the same day. So I'm sorry? The preliminary and final on the same day. Right. The, the, are you still referring to the amended one? Yeah, because they had to amend the preliminary. So they did. And then that allowed us to move forward with final. But we had to have approved preliminary before that because that one's an amended one. So there had to be one in order to get the term amended. I would imagine we had to have approved the preliminary before then maybe we didn't i don't know if we did because okay. the, prelim the preliminary site plan and the final site plan on the same day okay <laughs> that's probably what they'll be looking for again i just got to think about we actually if, if it never occurred and there's no standing yeah then we have to go through all the aspects again seeker everything all right I don't know if we can make the statement that it was previously done, meaning that we might have to do another coordinated review, all of that. Well, I can also check the minutes too. Can I, I'll... We just have to find out if there's signatures. Yeah, we'll see what we have. I have the whole file. And it's a question. Yeah, I mean, I don't. Chris uh -huh. may say, he may tell you that you don't need to have signatures. Um, you just grant the... a preliminary approval, and that might be enough. I, I was always under the impression that. On a two-stage review, you get signatures on preliminary, and that, that's the, basically the, the starting spot going forward, which is why a lot of people want to get to that preliminary stage, and then they wait. Then they wait because they, they got have, something to go back to. So they're not starting over. Tabitha, she keeps referring to as the final conservation subject was approved on 324. Right, with an amended. And the notification of such, along with the conditions of approval was sent to the applicant on 325. And that's that's the 90 days that keep, that keep running out. Was that final? Yeah, final, but I wasn't sure if there was it. I, I don't even remember one vote on it. But anyway, check the records. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Okay. So if it is okay, it goes to the May meeting then? Early May. You know what else to look at, Chris? Is look at our to early May for now. I'll say to be determined. Our yes. final resolution, our final site plan resolution would say, or should have said, how do we address the amended? Like, what was the condition? Was it to get amended plan, amended preliminary plans in for, uh, yeah, amended uh, preliminary uh, conservation subdivision are to be signed. Once all conditions have been met prior to signatures being affixed to the final plans. The amended preliminary are to be signed. Right. Okay. Yeah. So it's, you're right, Chuck, maybe the preliminary plan was never signed. Maybe it got an approval, then they amended it, and on... they never submitted those preliminary plans for a signature. And here we are. Okay. So technically, those 90-day extensions would have been on both. Preliminary and final. And so when they refer to amended, I think it, it was amended in the sense that if they had submitted a, an original received an approval application but not with signed. a different payout, yep. and then it came back and said, We rethought about this, I brought the bill, said that it's that we want to submit an amended yeah. preliminary. And then that's the one we acted signed. on. And I think right. we acted on the final at the same time. Final pending, the amended gets signed. It was required in order yeah. to sign final, we had to sign amended. Mm -hmm. And those, and those and were, I don't know that we happen. did. And those were know. the conditions we that were met, including yeah. including the Chris. conservation management plan. Yep. Yep. That's the one Tabitha said. Chris was non-responsive. And, and and the information that uh, the correspondence was going to the wrong person. And oh gosh. Right. Right. So, yeah, if there's oh, no excuse, preliminary thing to sign. the person on the application. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was sent to I, Tabitha's name, never came up on this. She, I, she was ever. a new to me. 
Yeah. All right. That's a good question. Though. All right. Has that already gone through ECB that one? Can I? Yeah. Indulge. Uh, do you want to? I guess as far as the meeting, we're done. We're done. <laughs> is, this, uh, West, is there something for West Hair Toyota? No. State that is not an application anymore. Yeah, Chris can it. It's so simple, Chris can it. Yeah, Chris is doing uh, so simple. <laughs> so simple.